Do you know that how you can display all these records in a Power Pages website? Hi, this is Prinka Kumari from Noha Academy and here let me tell you that how you can display all these records in a website. By using a list, you can display all these records in a tabular form in the website. For now, I can take one real life scenario that is comment and registration. And in this scenario, there is a number of fields that can be displayed in the list form in the website. So here you can see I can already display our records using a list in Power Pages platform and I can take a real life scenario that is comedy and registration form. And in this form, there is a number of fields like name, city, number of tickets and etc. And we can perform a CRUD operation and there is a CRUD operation means create, read, update and delete. So let me take one demo to show you that how you can perform these operations using a list in Power Pages platform. So first we need to create a data. So we click on create. So let me enter. There is a name that is Sakshi. And let me enter a random numbers for now. And let me enter a Sakshi gmail.com. We can enter a city that can be Delhi, it can be prefer sitting that is front row, number of tickets two and special request for now it can be none and there is a age so I can select the age, there is a year for now I can select 2019, 19 and 1 and let me select the registration that is 9 gen and how here it can be social media and we click on submit. So here you can see I can enter all the records successfully. So if you want to view these records, so we click on view details. So here you can see I can see the records all the including fields. So if you want to update the details, so you can. So we click on go and add it. So if you want to change the setting arrangement, so we click on back row. So we click on submit. So here you can see the back row can be updated here and if we want to delete this record so you can also so we click on delete so it pop up that is are you sure you want to delete this record so yes we are sure so we delete and it shows a message that deleted successfully and if you want there is a number of records and you want to particular find that particular record so you can click and enter that is name Prinka and here you can see that records can be found successfully in the search so let me take one page in which that page the list can be displayed so we click on plus page and we name this page view event page and I can start from blank and click on add so here you can see I can choose a component to add this section. So we use list and we choose a new list and here you can see there is a add a list and then add a list there is a three option like setup, action and more option. For now I can explain you that how you can display all records in a data world in the website. So for this we have to choose a table so i can choose a table my comedian registration table and after that i can choose a data views basically these are the views that can be used to display the records for now i can choose the active comedian registration and we have to click on so we click on done for now to display the records in the websites so we click on done and let me sync this also and let me preview this. So here you can see our all records can be displayed like name, city, number of tickets, email address, how here, phone number, preference setting and special request. Now there is a, another step that how you can create a data in the website directly and that data can be displayed in this list also. So next we can perform a CRUD for operation. So first we need to create a record in this list. So we go and we go edit list and we choose the actions and here you can see there is a list action like create a new record. So we on this toggle and there is a target type that is form 
web page and url if you want to that list can be pop up a form and that form that can insert a record in the data verse so you can select a form and if you want that form can be added in the next page so you can choose a web page and you can choose a url to the external website also to create a record for now i can choose a form and we can select a form that is comedian registration and there is a display label that is create and here you can say that you can download a list of record also by on this toggle for now i can tell you that how you can create a new record for so let's click on done and there is a another thing that you have to give a permission to create a record so we go permissions and i can already give a permission so for now i can click on this and here you can say there is a table name that is comedian registration there is a name that is comedian registration there is a table name that is comedian registration and there is a access tab that is global access and there is a permission like read create update delete for now i can access the permission only read and we can say create and we click on save and we click on save so and let me cross this and let preview this so let me tell you demo so we click on create and let me enter one name it can be tushar and there is a phone number i can choose this number for now there is a email address so let me enter a email address for tushar that is tushar at the rate gmail.com let me choose a city it can be delhi there is a ticket sitting front row number of tickets to for now special request man there is a age so let me select this it can be this 2000 bag there is a fee let me choose the registration date that is till january 2024 there is a social media and we click on submit So here you can see our new record can be saved successfully. So our next scenario to view the details of particular record. For now, we have to create a form that is in read-only format. For now, I can create another page and I can enter a name like view details, and I can start from blank and we click on add. So let me create a form. Uh, it can be a new form. Let me choose a table name that is comedian registration, and let me choose a comedian registration, and let me change this name of the copy that is view details, and we go on data, and it can be is only read only format, and we click on OK. and let me go on list page and we go here is this added list let me go on actions and let me choose the view details and let me select a form that is view details and there is a label that is display label it can be view and we click on done and let me preview this to show you a demo so we click on desktop so here you can see that there is a button and we click on button so it can be show your view details so here you can see all the records like name phone number email address registration date etc so can cross and let me show you this record we click on view details so it can be show a particular all the fields in a view details in the read only format so our next target to added the details or we can say update the details in a list in a power pages platform for this we need a form that is only using a updating an existing record so for now i click on plus add and i can name this page that is added details and i can start from blank for now and we click on add So let me choose a form also. So I can go on form, and there is a new form. Let me choose a comedian table name that is comedian 
there will be a form that is comedian registration and I can name this form that is added details okay the small letter it is in data I can create this is an updates and existing record and we click on ok and after that we go on event page view event page in a list page and we go added list we go action let me scroll down this first we on this toggle we select a form that is added details and here is a display label that is added and we click on done and there is a permission there is a comment registration and we have to give a permission to update the records in a list and we click on save also and we have crossed this and let me preview this so let me update this record and we click on add it so let me change the city it can be like Haryana and there is a prefer state it can be preferred to back row and we click on submit so here you can see the city can be changed and there a prefer city can also be changed so there is a another option so we have to delete the records and i can appear also a search bar here so i can click on added list and we click on actions so let me scroll down also and i can on this toggle and there is a display label that is delete and let me explore more options so we click on more options and here you can see number of records per piece that is 10 there is a default value if you want you can change also and i can enable a search in this list also so we click on this list and we click on done but we need to give a permission to delete the record so we go comedian registration and we give this permissions so we click on save and after we click on save let me scroll this and we have to delete this so here you can see there is a search list also so first we i have to tell you that how you can delete the particular record so we click on delete and there is a pop-up that i can ask that are you sure you want to delete this record so we click on delete here you can say that deleted successfully and here is a search bar if you want to search a particular record like name that is john so here you can see a record can be found successfully also thank you for choosing know how academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you navigate the tech world if you have any question don't hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you so stay curious and keep learning.